Hello guys! And during the last four months of Ukrainian counteroffensive, we have managed to destroy 20% of Russian Black Sea Navy, which is a huge victory both for Ukraine but also for many countries all over the world that depend on Ukrainian grain and other products. And now we don't need any grain deals and I hope that soon more of Russian warships will follow the first one, Moskva. I'm sure you remember the phrase. So let me tell you from this ordinary Ukrainian perspective how important this Ukrainian victory in the Black Sea is, and I don't know why global media does not speak about that enough. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight. Informational warfare is very real and important. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So recently in many global newspapers appeared articles saying that during the last four months of Ukrainian counteroffensive, Ukraine managed to destroy more than 20% of Russian Navy, which is huge. The very first important message from an ordinary Ukrainian, don't you treat counteroffensive as only the things that happens on the front lines. It is also the things that happen all around the front lines and even inside Russia. We've seen Russia on fire and now we see Russian Black Sea Navy escaping from Crimea. Actually, the start of this war in 2014 began with the annexation of Crimea and more Russian vessels moving into its equatorium. And now we see just the country. They escaped from there. We've managed to burn 15 of their warships. Just recently we have celebrated total destruction of Novocherkassk. A uh, warship Moskva, I'm sure you remember how symbolically Ukrainian sailors managed to send it <clears throat> go, you remember the phrase, but in general, the things that Ukrainian army not having protection from the air, not having mm, enough uh, ships, because of course Ukrainian Navy is uncomparable in size to Russian Black Sea Navy, plus take into account what happened in 2014 when they not only annexed Crimea but managed to loot and steal lots of our vessels. But with all these limited resources, we've managed to uh, destroy 20% and also to make them run out of the Black Sea. Remember to subscribe and watch Russia Defeated because this is definitely what is happening and we have to be able to analyze that and to act accordingly. Because right now many good Russians will try to persuade us negotiations and other stuff. No, 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 no. Negotiations are impossible with Russia because any agreement that they sign is not worth the paper on which it was signed. Do you remember how at the very beginning of summer we were all worried about the grain deal? Because Russia once again started using food as a weapon. For Ukrainians this is an extremely traumatic experience having gone through the times of Holodomor genocide in the 30s. It was so painful for me to watch how they burn and bomb elevators with grain containers. You see, maybe you can hear Ukrainian jets flying training, which is good. And uh, uh, what is also important, uh, it was very painful and they terrorized the world saying we will block the Black Sea. Lots of NATO countries did not know what to do. Turkey was trying to help uh, make this grain deal work again. And what did Ukrainians do? We understand they will use it as weapon forever. They will continue destroying our port infrastructure cities like Odessa, Mykolaiv, and of course um, targeting us from the Aquatorium of Black Sea. So the only way to do is to make them run out of there and destroy their ship uh, repairment docks. I don't know how to call that correctly. Uh, sink their ships. Also, what is very like Russian style, uh, their dictator Putin never speaks about the losses, but they specifically try to hide the losses of Russian sailors. And now they have 33 people missing, according to Russian sources, which is obviously can be multiplied by 10 or maybe by 100 after the uh, sinking of um, Novocherkassk landing ship on the 26th of December. 
but uh, it seems to me that we've sunk a lot of their vessels or actually as the Russians like to say it we've turned them into submarines they are upgraded now turned into submarines together with uh, their <clears throat> sailors who accidentally became Aquaman or I don't know Anyway, uh, they are hiding this information and I remember one of the first protests actually among Russian uh, women and family members uh, was connected with the destruction and uh, sinking of Russian warship Moskva. Very symbolic. Remember to subscribe and see Moscow sinking. I mean like the capital of Russia. And uh, <clears throat> so, in general, they don't speak about their losses, especially in the Black Sea. They pretend everything is all right, but now no Russian vessels in Sevastopol. I'm sure there will be no in Feodosia. All of them are hiding back in uh, Novorossiysk, which is a port already on the Russian territory. So they've actually left the territory they annexed in 2014. And our weak reaction was a green light for Putin, we will never repeat mistakes like that. <clears throat> so, to sum it all up, it is not Ukrainian information, it is the information from the Institute of War, from British intelligence services and other military analytics who are neutral, not Ukrainians, don't worry, who say that within this four months of Ukrainian counteroffensive, with very limited resources, with no real navy, with no real support from the air, we have managed to destroy a serious part of Russian Black Sea Navy, making them run, making them burn, and making them fear. And uh, uh, they try to hide it on media. They have to say it to Putin, but perhaps they soften it the way they can. But the most important thing is visible and obvious, and it proves that it's real. Uh, ships are traveling through the Black Sea. Uh, they are not able to target many of the things they could at the beginning. And now, more than ever, I believe that Crimea will soon return to Ukraine. And we will celebrate that. Remember to subscribe and share. Because there are not that many Ukrainian voices in the English-speaking YouTube. And that's a problem. We have to support each other, so subscribe share if you agree of course because we're not russian we have freedom of choice thank you so much for uh, buying me coffees and becoming my patrons and helping me more uh, to work in this informational field i'm beyond grateful subscribe to my instagram i'm active there threads twitter and discord community all the links you need are in the description of this video and also remember to visit our merch shop from time to time as there are many beautiful t-shirts sweatshirts cups and other stuff that can work as conversation starter and remind people war in ukraine russian war in ukraine still continues we still need your support but we will also celebrate our victory together thank you for all you do United we stand. Slava Ukraini!